my Tacoma injured me. Washing the Toyota Tacoma can be dangerous. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? And that's right, I was injured on my Toyota Tacoma. Now, I wasn't gonna make this video. I wasn't gonna tell you guys because frankly, it's a little bit embarrassing. First of all, let me show you the, uh, the injury. Let's, let's get in the right light. Um, right here. Let's see if you guys can see right there. Now, you might be wondering, how did that happen? Well, it for, did not happen here. You know, I've had a lot of comments about you could come up and bang your leg, you know, on this beaver tail step that I have back here. And let me tell you, first off, I've never even hit that thing. I've grazed it walking by just slightly, but because of the angle of it, you kind of just smoothly walk on by, and that's not what happened. Here's the deal. I was out in my driveway, you know, washing the Tacoma, because I do wash it, wash it once in a while, uh, even though I hate washing vehicles, right? And I had it parked out here, kind of like the Jeep is right now, right? And... In a previous video, I had mentioned that the sunroof had a bunch of water spots and stuff on it, right? And that kind of stuck in my mind uh, after I had gotten done washing it. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna make sure I get that sunroof nice and cleaned off. You know, dry it off so the water doesn't dry up there and leave spots and stuff all over the place, right? So, like I said, I had it out here and it is at an angle. Um, so it makes the truck even that much higher, right? Trying to reach up on the roof. I mean, this is me standing here with it in the driveway. And even if I didn't have it like that in the driveway, uh, you guys can see here um, that it's still rather high, right? I mean, I still can't reach up on the sunroof. So what I did, and this is really bad, I have the side steps on the side, right? And I had the door open like so, you know, I'd already dried off these parts, so it wasn't like anything was gonna drip inside the truck or whatever. And I went to step up on the step here on the side, right? So I get up on the side step and I'm gonna try to do this uh, in the garage right now for you guys. But I was stepped up, you know, like this. And that, if I lean under here, of course gives me lots of room if I step up on both sides to be able to reach the sunroof here to wash it off, right? But I was kind of at a weird angle, you know, and my weight was pushing towards the truck, you know, to keep me from falling backwards, right? And I was standing with my toe kind of on the edge. You guys can probably see where this is going, right? With my toe kind of on the edge because I didn't want to scrape or get this dirty here like it is now. You know, I was trying to keep it nice and clean because I had just washed the truck, right? So, I've got my foot on the edge and I'm leaning over so I can wipe off the sunroof there so it's not all spotted. And my toe slips off of the side step. Now, keep in mind, it didn't happen like this. I didn't fall away. Oh, no, no. What happened is, since my weight was forward, when I slipped, I kind of fell almost, if you will, towards the truck because that's where my weight was going, right? So when I did that, I'm lined up like this and my leg scraped right down across my shin, just like that. You guys can see right there, that's what happened. Now, at first, you know, you're a little bit shocked because you kind of fell anyway, right? And you think you just slipped, no big deal. Well, then the pain kind of kicks in a little bit, right? You start to feel a little bit, you look down and it's like, oh no. Now, you may have noticed there is a little stepladder in here. And what I typically do is pull the stepladder out. Of course, it wasn't in the garage at the time. It was somewhere in the house. I think the wife had used it to hang something or she needed to get up high to do something. I don't know what, so I didn't have it. But what I typically would do is step up on the side, on the uh, step ladder rather, um, and then that gives me plenty of room. I mean, right, I can be all the way up here. I mean, I'm above the height of the lift now. And obviously I can reach in there 
to hit that sunroof. But I didn't do that. Why didn't I do that? Well, <laughs> because I was in a hurry. I hate washing vehicles, right? And I didn't want to go in the house and search around and try to find it. Krista was, I don't know where she was, somewhere in the house, and I wanted to get done. Plus, you know, while the truck is sitting outside and it gets sunny and, and hot here, even when it's cooler out because of the sun, the intensity of the sun, right? So I'm worried about it starting to dry that uh, water on the top and create those sunspots that I'm so desperately, or water spots rather, sunspots? Those water spots rather that I'm so desperately trying to get rid of, right? So I thought it'd be a really smart idea to go ahead and step up on the side step and do that to my leg. Um, not a good idea, you know, when your feet are wet and soapy, because of course there's soap on the ground from washing the truck, uh, it's gonna be a little bit slippery on there. Not a real smart idea. So I got to thinking, you know, back to the wife's Jeep here, you know, she has these nice wider but i don't think even wide enough i mean if you're stepping on here and you have that curved edge you still can slip up right well how about on my gladiator it does have more of a platform uh than my other ones do the ones on the tacoma you know i could have gotten much more foot if i had something like this wider on the truck then obviously i could get up here and reach the top a little bit better problem is i don't want anything that pronounced anything that sticks out that far on my Toyota Tacoma. So I guess the moral of the story is if you're going to use your side steps as a ladder, which uh, I did in that case, probably a smart idea um, to either make sure that your feet are dry, it's dry, or you get enough toe on there um, to not slip off. I mean, you know, once you get your foot on there, well, it's not a big deal, right? It's got these little hoochies on there um, that dig into the rubber on the bottom of your foot, or your shoe, rather. Should be able to hold you on. Heck, barefooted, I probably would have been better. At least they would have grabbed my foot. Anyway, I just wanted to come clean, let you guys know what happened. It's a little embarrassing again. I hesitated making the video. Uh, it has been a few days. Truck's all dirty again anyway, so I guess it didn't really matter. Um, leave a comment, let me know. Has your Tacoma ever injured you? You ever done anything where you've hurt yourself on your Tacoma? Or am I the only one? Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator sitting right out there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. <laughs> Bye.